one Home Alone superfan has come up with a bizarre theory about the Macaulay Culkin classic that might just ruin you Christmas. While there's obviously much to love about the seasonal flick, the family favorite has now been watched so many times since its 1990 release that fans have started to pick it apart. And the most recent bugbear is that it's never explained what Kevin McAllister's dad does for a living. We know the patriarch must have earned a tidy packet to afford that spacious family mansion and the luxury holidays abroad. But one fan claims to have finally cracked it. Home Alone, starring Macaulay Culkin, was released in 1990, image, publicity picture, fans have been wondering what dad Peter McAllister does for work how did the family get so rich? Posting his theory to Reddit, one film buff has come to the conclusion that Peter McAllister is a hardened mob criminal. He writes, Home Alone is one of my favorite movies of all time and as such, I've seen it about a million times. Watching it over the years you start to realize things that didn't pop out as a kid. One of the things I noticed was that Kevin's dad, Peter, has something fishy going on. My theory is that he's some kind of mid-level criminal for the mob or something, and he can explain why. Did little Kevin know about his dad's double life? The family lived in an ultra-swanky home, image, 20th Century Fox, one fan claims to be able to explain how they afforded it, image, 20th Century Fox, first, the very first time we see Peter is when Harry is dressed as a cop scoping the place out. Peter is way defensive in this interaction. All Harry does is ask if he's the owner of the house and Peter jumps straight to, am I in some kind of trouble officer? The look in his face is on edge the whole time he's talking to Harry. Secondly, we never find out what he does. They don't mention where he works, or his background, or anything. Now in the book adaptation of the movie they say something about him being in, business. That's pretty vague. But Peter makes enough money to have a wife that doesn't work in like five kids. He also has a house that is worth like 1.5 million. Why did the thieves target the McAllister house? Image, 20th Century Fox, Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern hide in the toy store in Home Alone 2, Image. 20th Century Fox, the user, who goes by the name Yu, Cubanesis then adds that it's suspicious tea, he family home is referred to as the Silver Tuna and that the property is specifically targeted by neighborhood thieves. As if that wasn't enough, he then fires, finally, this one is kind of weak but look at how his family carries themselves. Kevin's mom is a cold emotionally dead bitch who says terrible things to her 8-year-old son. Buzz is a fucking psychopath who is probably set up to follow in his dad's footsteps. Uncle Franks is obviously a crook of some kind. Then there's Kevin, who seems completely okay with killing two robbers. I don't think his intent was to bonk them on the noggin. He was out for blood. I mean when I was 8 I knew that if I dropped an iron on someone's head from 20 feet they would die, the reddit user then signs off, plus, the whole family has terrible manners. Just look at the scene when Kevin's mom is trying to use the payphone in Paris and a woman is already using it. The whole family just muscles the poor woman off the phone, Kevin McAllister, played by Macaulay Culkin and other Reddit users appeared to agree with him, adding their own observations. Well, his dad's top coat is Burberry cashmere, typically runs in the $2,000 5k range. So he does spend a pretty penny on a regular basis, commented one. Not to mention he paid for his brother's family to travel with them in Christmas, added another while others used the comment box to support the long-held belief that, criminal or not, Kevin's parents were pretty terrible. They don't even realize their son isn't with them until they're on an airplane, we'll still keep watching it though.